Hey Libra Seeker, what's happening? Other than everything, nothing? Other than nothing, everything? Great. Welcome to your 2019 yearly with the existential shift. Normally you see my face, you'll see it at the end of this reading. So what do we have here? My lovely Libras. January all through December 2019. The 13th pack to represent the entirety of the year. We have for each month uh, after Tarot, Celtic Tarot 2 clarifiers, and Arun. And the same thing for the entirety of the year as conclusion. And then we have one oracle from the Akashic Records and one oracle from the I Ching. All right. This is Palo Santo for the moon. Some good vibes. All right. Let's see what 2019 is about in general, and then we'll go at it um, by the months. So I want to open the first rune first. Okay. Fehu in the reverse. Fehu can also be the letter F. So here's the thing about Fehu, Fehu that represents the cattle, the maternal, the matter, the, um, the home, the farm. When it's in the reverse, we are encouraged to not go in accordance to matter or sensations of security. Let's connect the dots. Two of Cups, lovely. The High Priestess and the Three of Wands. Okay, this is amazing. So first of all, I want to show you how beautiful the Two of Cups in this tarot is. In the after tarot, you see like moments after what is happening in the Rider Way? So, if in the Rider Way tarot they're facing each other, and the in, in the after tarot they're already hugging. I think it's very sweet. And to support that, we have another two, which is the High Priestess. This is very beautiful energy, Libra. And then we have the Three of Wands and Feu in the reverse. So, off the bat, two, two, and because the high priestess is two, this is um, soul, soulless energy, very inner, very um, receptive, very intuitive, very um, heart chakra, crown chakra, and third chakra oriented. Possibly also the sacral chakra. And the two of cups is the aspect of the heart chakra. It's, it's the love, it's the harmony, it's the union. But the High Priestess unites between the seasons and unites between the yin and the yang and the life and the death. So it's almost like in 2019, there's an element of finding real unity within thyself, which allows fantastic unity, you know, as within, so without, in your relationship. So... If I connect this to Fehu in the reverse, because I have nothing here of loss or of, um, you know, like any sort of challenge. And this is very positive energy. So I know how to take this Fehu, intuitively how I took it in the beginning. This is the year to be guided by the heart and by the intuition. And not necessarily by the what is practical and secured and like take a risk allow yourself the high priestess is the unknown it's focusing on a relationship from on a relationship from a place of the moment the uh, the feel the um, kind of day by day kind of thing as opposed to okay what will this lead to? What does this mean? What is the status? What, all that. Also, there's an element of a little bit of secrecy when it comes to a relationship. It could be something that maybe you're uh, kind of being very quiet about. If you have a, a relationship or a connection that you want to either keep secret or to protect yourself, you know, the to protect this union from the environment or from the family or you know there's there's a, a certain need of like keeping things under the radar for a little bit which is okay 
because it will allow you to focus on yourselves and on your connection. This is heartfelt and not mind thought. Tomorrow doesn't exist kind of vibe where we have to feel everything in the moment and be happy in the moment. And that is the thing that creates long-term happiness by being happy every day as opposed to every day worrying about the tomorrow and will we be happy tomorrow and then every day you're worried so every day you're unhappy so by not planning the happiness you actually allow happiness there needs to be inner trust and inner guidance that you're in the right place with the right person and then just trust the energy your, your inner uh, knowing. And some of you maybe throughout 2019 will be focused on that, on the uh, amorphic, esoteric, spiritual, um, heart-echoed element of a connection as opposed to the actual, okay, what is this? What are we? What is, is this a relationship? Are, are we getting married? Are we, like the status. And also this not might be between the two of you. Maybe for the two of you it's very, very clear. But there's something with the society or the family or an organization that is, that is a little bit troubling or a little bit opposing. But it, it's very temporary because I see here the need to be patient and intuitive and um, passive and receptive and allowing things to work themselves on their own very interesting 2019 huh okay let's see what um what each month brings of course we're going to start with january so i'm going to put this aside so we can look at it throughout the reading mainly because it's just super beautiful i love this deck okay and let's go to january ready ready 